Hi, my name is Shungda, and today I'm going to show you the sound menu of the Magic Lantern inside the T2i or the 550D. So, the Magic Lantern sound menu So what you see is the sound menu, or at the moment not really the sound menu. This is the sound menu, and the audio meter is actually what's at the top. You can set it off, you can set it on, and mostly I'll set it on the movie only because it's quite useless to have it on while you're actually taking pictures. The output volume is at 6 because that is mostly the output for the headphone monitor. And the analog gain is on and you will see that the digital gain left and right is off. I'm now recording off a lavalier with both left and right. You can hear me on both channel. And the AGC is off mostly because AGC will act actually the AGC will add digital gain which actually causes all the hisses and all kind of stuff monitor is actually the for the headphone monitor you, so you can set it off or on and digital filters is actually all kinds of filters but it actually does not really work if you set it on so I'll put it off and input you can choose like different kinds of input like internal left balanced which is if you got a mono mic you can set the balance to uh, so the left channel will be the internal mic and the right would be the external mic but balanced the auto internal but uh, not really sure if this one works only the internal mic which actually picks up a lot of sound and environment sound internal left and right you probably hear it working but if you got a mono mic which means that the right side would be only with the mono it will be like really yeah it would be actually both on left so the it would actually only record internal if you have a mono microphone if you got external it would work like how i'm using it now and then back to only external to my left ear so one thing i want to explain is the digital gain i've set it to zero well you probably have seen people saying using the analog gain on 23 and using the digital gain on 18 however I also want to explain you about the bars on top you probably you will see only one bar because it's a bit uh, yeah the screen is a bit cropped on the not really quite sure by what but but the yeah you see a little bit of the uh, second bar on the top and the bar on low you will see it as the whole so i will be changing the right channel so if you listen with me so this is 2318 the sound is much louder as you can hear and also see that the channel or the meter actually goes into the red zone really high up and you can see it actually picks up uh, or actually when I'm not talking it goes into it doesn't go all the way down it goes actually still as actually cause of the hiss it doesn't go all the way down and to silence 
well actually the left channel you would probably still hear me however not as loud as, loud as the right channel and actually without any hiss and also if I actually add even more digital gain you will hear the hiss I won't talk with it because otherwise you will hear the distortion uh, because it's recording much too loud but you will hear the hiss So hereby I can tell you that digital gain is probably best not to use because it actually adds hiss to your recording and actually also yeah for the better it's just to add analog gain. One thing I advise to do is actually test out the microphones you got and see which of the microphone needs what kind of gain because with a directional mic it probably be using less gain than that you have to use them with a uh, lavalier mic because the directional mics can actually aim the aim the microphone and plus it gets a little bit more db also you have to look at how much ohm or how much sound the microphone records and also if you got a preamp you can also set the analog gain to lower or uh, actually use the preamp to make it even louder if the analog gain is not enough however you have to record the sound uh, or check the meter not to go into the red zone if it goes into the red zone it will actually be kind of kept or compressed so it will sound a little bit distorted at the moment the best is actually the loudest to be yellow and you can do that by like asking your uh, actors to talk the or uh, do the dialogue uh, without actually recording just for the sound so to actually measure how they are going to talk so yeah the main thing I'll probably use is tra uh, 32 for most of my labs because they are not that loud however I have a wireless lab which has a kind of built-in preamp which actually helps it to lower the radio noise which is uh, recorded by or actually uh, cause the cause of its wireless it gets a bit of uh, radio noise however if you put the volume higher uh, it will causes that the and use the a lower analog gain it would causes that the sound or the radio noise be recorded in a much less louder noise um yeah for the rest there's not much to talk about but just don't use analog or just don't use digital gain unless yeah there are a few times you might need it uh, however the max I would say use it at as much as a digital gain of 12 18 is a lot of hiss you can remove the hiss with uh, audacity or any noise removers however yeah it's better or easier way to record without any hissing also I was also thinking about that you had to have digital gain or a combination of analog or digital gain however actually you only need to have to add an analog gain without any digital gain and yeah just check the sound as much as possible and just test out all your microphones before you actually do any filming so yeah from mine what I learned from all my microphone tests is that you only use have to use analog gain and some mics are a little bit louder than other ones so you don't have to use the maximum of 32 decibel so this was my video and hope you have learned something so see you next time bye